Hello everyone. Now we are going to see the demonstration for the Bond TOS grocery point of sale software uh, as a silver plan. <clears throat> so what we are going to do is we are going to upgrade the bronze plan to a silver plan and in the previous video we already saw uh, the demonstration of the bronze plan. So we click on register product and we click on silver plan. So I already have a key but otherwise what you can do is you can click on the pay now button and it will take you to the Bond POS website. Once you go to the Bond POS website you choose the plan, silver plan, add it to the cart and uh, this is the silver plan here. You add to the cart, proceed with the payment and once you're done with the payment you can uh, Proceed checkout. Once you have made the payment, you will get the uh, activation code uh, by email. So what we are going to do is we are going to enter. Once you get the code by email, you have to just uh, copy that code and paste it here and say verify. So product registration successful. Every product key can be registered to only one product. One. Uh, POS so it will not work on the second so it says successful so now we have a separate screen which is called admin screen and the username is admin the password for that is one two three four by default but if you want to change it to something you can change it here you can change the name username for the admin you can change the password for the admin you can change the username and password for the point of sale screen so we'll just leave it as default for now and we'll say submit potential supplied successfully okay and the software will restart so we say okay so software opens again so now we have POS as our point of sale one two three four this is the screen that we already had, but we have a new thing here in a silver plan, opening cash and current balance. So what this means is today we are opening the outlet with let's say 1500 rupees in the cash drawer already there. And we say go, go to sales window. So whatever cash is already there is what we enter and we go to the sales window. Now we have a few changes here. What are the changes? When you go to fruits, you see all the fruits here, beverage, bakery, category four, category five, you see all the products here. Uh, but these products are marked in gray. What it means is now we have inventory management system. Inventory management system, if anything turns gray, that means it is out of stock or you have not entered the stock in the system but you can still sell because in a grocery store you cannot stop the sales if you have received 100 kgs of uh, let's say a banana right now and you start selling you don't have time to input in the system so you can start selling but it will start making the inventory negative so it will maintain the inventory in negative. Once you have time in the evening, you can go and enter the physical stock that this is the receiving I did at the day. So it will change the color. Anything which is green, I'll, I'll show you the demo. The button is green means wedge. The button is red means non-wedge. And the button is gray means it's not in the uh, stock. So here we have removed all the masters like the product master, we have removed the category master, we have removed the print master, a printer configuration is already here. So some of the things we have removed from here and we have put it in a separate screen and that screen is called the admin screen. So what we'll do is we'll minimize this particular screen and we go back to grocery, Bond POS grocery and click it again. Here we put ADMIN and we put one, two, three, four and we sign in. So what happens is this is a new screen which is called the admin dashboard. Here you can see what is the cash sale for today, what is on account sale for today, if there, if there is any sale by Zomato, Paytm or online, 
any mode of payment it will show here uh, by the colors that this is the payment you have received by whatever mode of payment and it shows you the category wise selling the collection wise selling cash and on account uh, it also shows you and the it also shows you outlet wise selling you know uh, so you see different sales one is the purchase price and the other one is the selling price so sales is what is red and blue is what is the expense so uh, that way you can see everything here now we go to outlet master you go to outlet search and this is the store that you already have here what we want to do is we want to let's say remove zomato remove check and I also want to remove uh, online okay so I remove three modes of payments just for the sake of demo and I say okay and now what we have is something called uh, the logo for the outlet uh, we will just go with let's say images I don't have an uh, image for a logo but let's say we just put Pepsi here just for the sake of it uh, so this logo will start printing in the receipt we also have something called quotation quotation button if you click uh, you will see a same thing same kind of a button on the front end uh, currently what you see here if you go to send order uh, first you need to choose a customer we choose a customer and we say send order so it's only pay there is no quotation button so what we do right now is we choose the quotation and we save this and we also put the logo okay we change some things uh, here is the document master this is for the uh, employee management so you can create a uh, document called a resume you can create a document called driver's license pan card or aadhar card you name that product here and you can save that product say uh, driver's license and we save this so documents inserted successfully we do let's say resume so we can create some documents here and we go to GST master now we have a separate CGST master and separate SGST master you can customize and create more CGST and SGST if you want to here we have unit of measurement master earlier we were selling everything by pieces but now uh, you can sell by kg and you can sell by let's say uh, grams whatever kind of uh, you know unit of measurement you want to create uh, then we have a vendor master uh, we'll create a demo vendor and address is demo street contact number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and email ID is demo vendor at bornpos.com and the GST number GST 12212 GST whatever you can put and you can save this vendor so you have created a vendor now uh, this is the shift master if you have morning shift evening shift whatever kinds of shifts that you have this is the category master here we have fruits beverage bakery and things like that now what is new here is we also have subcategories for example if you uh, have fruits and then you have international fruits and domestic fruits so you can uh, you know uh, make subcategories under one category uh, here is the raw material master right now everything that is uh, we are selling is by default the raw material but if you have any product if we go to product master here 
uh, you will see that buying uh, a direct selling if you click unclick on direct selling then you have to create a new raw material for that particular product if it is a direct selling product that means you are buying the same product and you are selling the same product so the product itself is the raw material okay so here uh, we double click on a product and we browse this product first product is uh, mango and now we have an HSN code just in case you want to uh, enter the HSN code for any product for the purpose of GST you can do that so double click on this product and uh, you go to browse and you can choose mango picture once again and save it you and if any product uh, I'll show you if any product is browse uh, we have uh, banana and save okay here we have uh, something called veg and non-veg if any product is non-veg you can choose non-veg let's say we go to Pepsi and we choose the picture again browse and we do Pepsi save and we have a white bread but the bread let's assume that it has an egg in it so we make it non-veg because it comes with egg in it and this is let's say uh, a product which includes GST 140 is all inclusive so there is no separate GST for this product uh, and let's say the GST is 2.5% CGST and 2.5% SGST but the taxes are included in this product so it's an MRP product uh, in which the uh, GST is already there okay so we uh, browse this is white bread so we choose the picture of a white bread and we save it we go to uh, brown bread we change it from a uh, fruits to bakery and uh, let's say we want to sell it by kg so you can choose it by kg uh, if you sell it by kg it becomes open product if you sell it by pieces it's a fixed product uh, so this one we leave it as veg and this one we say the GST is separate so I'll show you the so we made some changes into the products here this is the customer master if you want to manage these customers put their middle name last name or anything email ID you can edit a customer here and put more information about the customer just in case if you want to this is the warehouse master let's say you have a warehouse uh, two different warehouses one warehouse supplies you all the uh, you know disposable product the second warehouse supplies you let's say all the cleaning suppliers so you can create different warehouses here uh, which is internal store transfer so from warehouse to the store you can get the transfer this is the bank master let's say you create a bank called demo bank I'll show you the use of this bank uh, in a separate thing now we go to transaction and we create a purchase order for a vendor so we have a vendor and we do the vendor shipping address let's say uh, demo city and 30 days credit if you want to put any terms and condition and you want to put the barcode for the purchase order you can enter the barcode of the purchase order also uh, now we start adding the products into the barcode so let's say we go and uh, we enter a product called one two three and scan the barcode and the product will come here you order let's say mango 20 cages for today and you go to next uh, oh, 
line and you go here and choose a product called uh, banana let's say and you order 30 cages of banana we didn't change it from pieces to kg in the product uh, you know manager but otherwise we can change it so let's say you go to white bread and you want to order 10 white breads now you go to uh, brown bread and you order 10 brown breads and let's say you go to Pepsi and you uh, order uh, 20 Pepsi so the amount will keep adding here automatically so now what you can do is uh, you can either save and print this purchase order or you can just save the purchase order you don't want to print it right now so we'll just say save and print for now and if we have a default printer it will print like this here is the store logo it says purchase order the number of the purchase order uh, your address and here it will show all the details about the purchase order so you get your purchase order like this and you can print it from here save it or print it whatever you want to do now we go to material receipt after you have issued the purchase order next day <coughs> excuse me you get the merchandise so you double click on the purchase order and you start receiving the order so uh, here you go let's say you have ordered 20 cages you receive 20 cages go to next product banana you ordered 30 cages and you see you received only uh, you accept only 29 kg and you say five is damaged uh, no damage you cannot put here right now but you received only 25 you returned him five cages and here Oh, I didn't tell you, you can enter the batch number, one, two, three, and you can choose an expiry date for any product. Uh, you can go to, uh, you know, a different month, let's say July, or you can, for any product. Uh, so if we are in Mango and we want to say it will expire in a week or whatever, or if you have Pepsi, which has a six months of expiry date, so you can go to March, April, May, June, July, August. So you say August 10th is the day when it will expire. And you put the batch number. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four. So you can put the batch number of a product and you can receive the quantity, whatever quantity you are going to accept. Okay, so we go white bread batch number 1111 and expiry date for the bread is two days from today. So I enter two days and I say I have received 10 and we go to brown bread and 2222 two, two, two is the batch code. Brown bread, let's say the expiry is three days, so we do three days and we have received 10 kgs or 10 pieces so this one we are sending it to the store and we can save and update the stock we can just save it or we can make invoice for this so we'll say uh, save and stock up update so stock updated successfully so whatever we received the stock is automatically updated otherwise you could go here and you could see whatever uh, stock is available it is not updated you know you have a separate person to recheck and then update the stock one person is receiving the merchandise one person is rechecking and then updating the merchandise so that way you can change that and uh, now you can uh, double click on this and you can make invoice okay quantities we have already received uh, we have already updated 
so we can create the invoice from here uh, so this is the uh, transaction mode then we have the stock so we can check the current stock for each item so whatever stock we have just purchased and we have uh, just received everything will show here this is the current stock this is the total uh, cost of the stock uh, average cost of the product average this is not the total this is the average cost and this is the total cost uh, this is cost per item and this is what so average cost of the item so we go to the admin section, we can create a separate user now, uh, separate user, you can give separate uh, authentication if it's a POS user or an admin user. So you can assign different uh, two users for the admin and two users for the POS if you want to. And you can assign them different shifts if you want to, you can create their user ID and password from here. If you want to change the admin password tomorrow, uh, somebody knows your password you want to change it you can always change it this is the control panel here you can uh, assign different you know uh, things for example you want to activate the sms service so you can activate the sms service but you need to purchase uh, from bond pos you need to purchase the pack that you want 10,000 sms 20,000 sms 5,000 sms so we'll supply you the pack for the sms and you can activate the SMS so the every time a customer purchase anything from your outlet they'll receive an SMS on their telephone number that thank you for shopping at demo one store you your order number is this your total amount is this thanks for visiting and blah 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 whatever you want to put so we can uh, do the SMS here is the uh, auto generate barcode so you can generate the barcode for each product uh, and uh, you can print those barcodes also email before expiry so you can define how many days before the expiry you want to receive the email so let's say uh, you want to receive uh, an email one day before the expiry or two days before the expiry so that you can put that stock on sale because it's going to expire you want to put it on sale so you can define how many days before the product is going to expire you want to receive an email notification that the, these products are going to expire within two days or within five days whatever you want to put for the products for which you need a email right uh, you don't want to receive an email for the bread or for sandwich or whatever you know which are going to expire within few hours so you can make changes here and you can save those changes if you want to and uh, rules will be updated here you can do again the printer configuration we have given you a separate screen here you can do the path configuration now you have a path for the employee also where you want to save the documents for an employee uh, here uh, you have the raw material and product import now if you want to uh, for example I'll go back to the products and I'll say I want to export this list so I want to export this list uh, into volume D and say product list and save it so this product list is exported now when you go back to uh, this page and you say I want to import products and you add 100 200 500 or 1000 products into that list you can choose this list and process that list here so if you have added 100 products it will show all the products here and you can submit and import all the products into your uh, software in one go so you don't have to enter one by one each product uh, here is similarly the raw material import if you want to import the raw materials here we have a report section where you have the dashboard so you can see all the activity of your outlet in a dashboard but we have given you more reports here in the point of sale software so we made certain changes in the software so what we do now is we go and say refresh so all the images pop up
and now what we do is uh, let's say we log out and log in again POS one two three four so we logged out of the software and we are going to log in to the software one more time now if you saw banana you choose a customer and you choose the quantity 1.5 and you say done you go to the this particular screen you see there are three buttons which are already disappeared from here we removed pay, uh, the Zomato button, we removed uh, one more button uh, check and we removed the uh, online. So those buttons disappeared from here because we removed them. Here we have a new button called quotation. If you want to uh, send a product, uh, send a quotation to someone but they are not buying it right now. So you can click on quotation and you can uh, if somebody's paying cash you can say 500 rupees this is the change and pay it will print a receipt which we say number nine and we save it so that receipt will be saved as a quotation not as a invoice and it will not show on your GST or any tax uh, report okay so this way you can uh, have different products into different uh, you know categories uh, and here I want to show you we have more reports here for you now so now we have one two three four five six reports for you here in the front end so you can go and click on today's selling and view report so all the products that you have sold today are displayed on this particular screen and this is the total uh, amount of the sale this is the total expense amount and this is the total profit so you can see how much profit you're making on day-to-day -day basis uh, you know every day every minute you can see what is my profit for the shop right now and you can close this report if you want to export it you can export it or you can close this report from here you go bill by sell so you want to see the reports by uh, bill number so bill number one bill number two bill number three bill number four bill number five or six we cleared bill number five so that means anytime you add something here and clear uh, it is counted as a bill uh, but it's not printed so you know how many uh, times this was skipped this is done to prevent the pilferage if somebody adds you are not in the outlet and you are uh, somewhere outside and you come back and you look at this report so you can see how many bills have been skipped uh, bill number five is skipped so you can ask your employee why the bill number five is not there uh, there is a good possibility that uh, you know your employee can add a product into the uh, you know into the basket and then he say uh, total is 282 he will take the money he'll go here he'll take 300 rupees from the customer and he'll return 18 rupees to the customer but after doing all of this he can just clear this and not print so you will see now number seven is disappeared from the list if we go back to report and we go back to bell wise sale and we populate the report bill number seven is not there now I want to show you if I go and add a product just for the purpose of demo and I say this is cash order and I print and I just don't want to save it and now you will go back to reports and you will see that this will be report num bill number eight because bill number number five six seven okay this is bill number seven so we didn't cancel it actually properly but if you do that uh, the bill will be skipped 
Okay, so this is how you can do that. Uh, you can export the report. Now uh, we go back to the reports and we go GST report. So we, you have a better GST report now as compared to earlier. You can consolidate all the months of GST report or you can do it date wise. So you can do either date wise or consolidated the entire report and then you go to product wise. Product wise sale is how many bananas you sold in a day, how many mangoes you sold in a day, how many Pepsi. You can then go here and say quantity wise sorting higher to lower or you can do uh, you know subcategory wise sorting what subcategory uh, I am you want to see it by the subcategory or you can do it by product wise you know you can sort any of these and you can then see the report by that uh, category wise okay so you can do that uh, then we go to uh, sales summary and we want to see the summary summary is category subcategory cashier and uh, shift wise so you see all the reports here so category wise you can see what all categories what are products you sold here you can see subcategories if you have subcategories here you can see uh, the cashier name if you have two cashier which cashier did how much sale and this here you can see in morning shift and evening shift how sales were done here is the customer outstanding now here in one screen if you have hundred customers who owe you money you can see the detail of all the 100 customers and you can see how much is the total outstanding payment for all your customers until today so you can see everything on one screen and you can then close the screen and you can start the sales. So this is how so I click on a new order, order number 8 and I clear it I go back customer number 2 and I start selling product so it's very easy selling part is very very easy so this is how we have uh, two screens for the silver plan and these are the features that we provide you in the silver plan uh, in the gold plan you have more features and you have more uh, you know uh, modules in the gold plan which we will show you in the next demo so this is all for the silver plan and uh, once uh, you are ready to upgrade from silver to gold you can go and view the demo for the gold plan also so that's it for right now thank you very much and you all have a great day if you have any questions or query please do not hesitate to email us at support at the rate bondpos.com Thank you and have a great day everyone.